Alright guys, um, so in this tutorial I'm just going to really quickly run through one method of making a lift in the Unreal Engine. Uh, this, me this method uses matinee um, and then there's a different method I'll do in another video which uses kind of like a self-contained blueprint. Um, so for this here tutorial I'm just running uh, just the first person tutorial uh, just the default level that kind of ships with the Unreal 4 engine. Um, I think I'm running on uh, 4.12.5 um, but this should work in in their dev version. Uh, so what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to grab a just one of the basics and I'll grab a cube. I'm just going to drop it on the level. Uh, from here I'm just going to scale it up um, just to give us a bit more space to kind of walk on. Um, I'm going to keep it quite thin and I'm just going to set it off the ground. Um, the character will have a step up anyway so if I push play the character can step up on it so that's fine. Okay. Um, so that's the first bit done. From there, um, so like I said, this way it's going to use uh, matinee. So with the object selected, uh, we're going to click on cinematics, drop down menu, and then we're going to choose add matinee. Um, here we go. Mine's just appeared on the other screen for some reason. Um, so from here, what we want to do is, uh, I'm just going to put this to one side just to, real quickly to get started. Uh, we're just going to right click, and we're going to add a new empty grip. And we're going to call it whatever, we're, um, whatever makes sense to you guys. So we're going to call it lift. That's fine. Um, so we want to add a actor to this uh, to this group. So what we can do is we can click on our actor, and then we can pop back into matinee. Uh, we want to right click actors and add selected actors. So what it's going to do is whatever I've selected in the editor, it's just going to add it into this group. So add selected actors. Okay. You can see there it's just popped up changing cube five's mobility to movable. Uh, what that is is just this little attribute here on the right hand side. That was originally set to static. It's just making sure that it's a movable object. Okay. Uh, from there, we want to right click, and we want to add a movement track. Add new movement track, which is there. And straight away, you can see it appears at the bottom. Um, so by default, I think it's set to like one second. Um, we can adjust it just by clicking on the green and moving it. Uh, we can adjust the, the full time of it by clicking on the red. We can obviously make it a bit bigger if we want. Okay. Um, so it's actually got one, I'll zoom in a little bit, you can see it's got one here, uh, it's got one keyframe. So this works really similar to Maya or 3D Studio Max um, or whatever people are used to using. So what we're going to do is just go to the end and we're going to hit add keyframe. Okay, so it's out of the keyframe there at six seconds, but at the minute it's still in the same position. So what I'm going to do is grab it, I'm going to move it up in there, and you can see here now it's showing us uh, this little yellow line. Uh, shows you the animation where it's starting and where it's ending. Um, if you want to preview it, you can hit play, and that'll just play through the animation now. Okay, so that's kind of our matinee done. Um, for now, we don't have much extra to the actually kind of do in here. Uh, so I'm just going to close this out real quick. Um, so it's back at the start, that's fine. So we're going to drop that off there. Okay, um, so that's just sitting in here. It's actually in our scene. Um, matinee actor one, you can rename that um, whatever you want it to be, you could call it left one um, or whatever kind of suits your preference um, so for here now we need something that's going to trigger that matinee, so something that's going to tell that to start playing um, and what we're going to use is we're just going to use a box trigger for that um, so again we can just search anything in Unreal we see a, a little type box you can search for it. so I click and drag um, so here's our box trigger uh, so over here I'm just going to scale this up because I kind of want it to be a bit closer to the size of the lift. Okay, so I want the player to actually have to step on it. Okay. It's going to be a better look from up here. Right. Um, so maybe we'll position it kind of roughly in the middle of the lift. That's fine. Um, and we'll position it up a little bit. We can change the height of it as well. Um, it doesn't really, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. It might make a difference if the player like jumped in it. It might just take a couple seconds to start. Um, so that's fine. Uh, so from here, what we want to do now is a little quick bit of blueprint. Um, I'm going to do this in the level blueprint. Um, so it's just a blueprint that runs kind of your whole level. The other method I'll do in a different video is where it sits inside its own blueprint called lift or called elevator. Okay, so so we've got our trigger and we've got our matinee kind of ready to play. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to open up our level blueprint from there. So go to open level blueprint. So I've got the trigger selected at the minute, so when I right click, it gives me a list of 
options. So I can create a reference to this trigger box if I want, um, or I can add an event for trigger box. I want to add an event. Um, we're going to add a type on collision. And I'm going to add on actor begin overlap. Okay. Um, so basically, what that means is whenever somebody walks into the, they begin the overlap of the trigger box, uh, something's going to happen. Um, so it's quite a way of testing things in Unreal if you just want to make sure it works. Um, so you can do what's called a print string. So in this box, you can type whatever you want. You can actually plug stuff into this as well. But so basically, what I'm going to do is on, on actor begin overlap with the trigger box, I'm going to print a string that says overlap. Okay, and it's just going to print in the console. So if I push play, you can see overlap appears up the top left hand corner. So that way, I just I just know it that it's working, that the overlap is working fine. Um, it's just a method I use quite often to just kind of test things. Um, so from there, I'm just going to make this full screen so you can see it a little better. Um, I'm going to find the matinee. Uh, I'm just going to click and drag it in here, and that's going to drop a little reference for it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to make this full screen now just so we can see it a little bit better. So, so we've got a reference to our matinee actor one. And from there, we're going to click and drag out, and we're going to search for play. Okay. So what we want to say now is, when you begin to overlap, play the matinee. Okay. We're going to plug that in. So from there, all you do is click compile. And now, if we hit play, we're in our editor. Walk into the box, and our left works.